let's face it, 2020 just sucked. 2021 is our year, so let's start it off with a bang. Not only do I want my life for 2021 to start off with a bang, I want my beard game to start off with a bang. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to The Road Less Traveled. My name is Tevin, and welcome to Redbeard's Road. So I was sent a limited scent from a company with a new carrier blend that makes me want to forget all about 2020 and makes me want to look forward to 2021 and what it has in store for us. Not only for us, but for the beard game and bearded community. So the company that sent me out this limited scent is actually Black Rebel Beard Company. If you have no clue who they are, you're missing out. I have been impressed with Black Rebel Beard Company ever since I joined their scent of the month club. The owner's name is Pedro. And let me just say, it seems like every month since I've joined, the scents have gotten better. So what is the scent of the month? It's basically something you could either buy or subscribe to each month. And basically, you get a new character or artwork with a new scent each and every month. And it started for me with Beetlejuice. I love the artwork for Beetlejuice, and I've heard a lot of great things about the scent profile that I actually ended up subscribing to it each month. And you can basically pick whatever you want. If you want his oil, you can get his oil. If you want his oil and butter, you can get his oil and butter. There are so many options for you to choose on his website. It started with Beetlejuice. And then the next month, I think he came out with a different scent. I like that one. And then he came out with Hendrix. I loved Hendrix. But I think January's scent of the month, and that's the one I'm about to talk about, beats both Beetlejuice and Hendrix. And I loved both of those. Go ahead. Show them, Squatch. January scent of the month is Sasquatch. So check it out. You got Dr. Squatch driving this nice BA looking vehicle with a nice sunset background. This label is just very well designed. It's beautiful. It's sexy. It's appealing to the eye. So let's check out the scent profile for this bad boy, which is conveniently listed on the front of the label. That's something new that he added. I enjoy that because sometimes I forget what the sip profile is and what, you know, I'd hate to later down the road, you know, pick it up in my bathroom and go, huh, Sasquatch, I don't remember what this is. Well, now he added it to the front of the bottle and basically he describes this as a dark tobacco oud. Let's go ahead and give it a sniff. Don't forget to shake, spank. Now open it up. Guys, this is just a powerful, dominating, masculine, sexy scent. It's a dark cologne. Most of Pedro's scents reminds me of colognes. Every single month from Beetlejuice until now has reminded me of a cologne. So basically what I'm getting out of the dark tobacco oud for Sasquatch is basically a bunch of oud. A oud cologne with some tobacco dancing around in the background mixing so well with the other scents. And I'm not sure what's making it dark, but this is a very nice, sophisticated, manly cologne that I'm sure a lot of you guys will end up liking. And to be honest, I think it's going to be one of my favorite scents for 2021. Not only is Pedro bringing some nice artwork for Sasquatch and a great scent profile, but he's bringing a new carrier oil blend. Black Rebel Beer Company had a 75% emu oil blend for their carrier oils, and I loved it. I thought it was one of the best feel in beards out there. It worked great for my beard, whether it was long, short like it is now. I loved it, but now he's doing something different. Instead of adding 75% emu oil, he's adding 75% ostrich oil. The reason why Pedro switched up from emu to ostrich oil is because, according to his website, he says it has a similar molecular structure to hubum sebum oil, which allows the oil to penetrate and hydrate the skin better than emu oil. I tried it out myself, and to be honest, I don't see any difference other than it works the same as his emu oil blend. I'm not saying that it didn't do anything. I didn't notice anything myself. That's all I'm saying. Uh, basically, it still gives me that nice soft beard that I love, and I still think it's going to be one of my favorite carrier oil blends in 2021. One of the best feeling beards. Sasquatch is up for sale on his website as of right now. And you have two options of getting this. You can subscribe for each month and save 16.66%. Or you can buy it all out in full and just get the January scent of the month. 
if you were not to subscribe to the scent of the month, you would basically be paying $29.99 for this oil. If you wanted just the butter, it would also be $29.99. If you wanted the oil and butter combo, it would be $47.99. Now, Pedro does offer free shipping, regardless of whatever you buy. But what I did, I wanted to subscribe and get all his new scents each month. And that saved me a little bit of money. I, I basically get an oil each month, and all I pay is $24.99, and it's free shipping. I don't think you guys should miss out on Sasquatch. It is a beautiful scent. The artwork is killer. The feeling beard is good. Maybe even better, I'm going to spend some more time with this Carrier Oil blend. I, I think it's just going to be a really great year for 2021. I cannot wait to see what Pedro comes out with next. I'm still subscribed and I cannot wait for each month. It is so good. I don't think Sasquatch can keep his hands off of it. <laughs> hey, where are you going with that? Hey, come back. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and watching the video. Before you head out, please hit that like button, comment down below because I love interacting with you guys. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing if you haven't. But if you ever need to get a hold of me, all my contact information is down below. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed week. See you guys in the next one.